Hey everybody, Anel here with NKY Honeybees. Welcome back. Today is a beautiful day, 80 degrees outside, sunny, no wind. It's kind of a perfect day to be in beehives. So today I'm gonna go ahead and check that brown apame hive, which is my oldest queen. That's a queen going into year three. And I wanna see how things are uh, doing in there basically. Uh, so our flow is almost here. I'll show you in just a second a couple of things. Uh, like black locust, honeysuckle is just about to come on. Um, I did put another deep on, on all of the hives, but I wanna get in there and see if queen is laying up on the se in the second box or not. And decide if I wanna do a single deep management or not. I don't know, I'll see once I get in the hive and see what I find actually. Luckily, I have a locust here. Take a look at this though, black locust. That grew last year. It's about six feet tall. Uh, so I have one right in my apiary and I don't want to cut it down because I get to actually watch this how it develops and when it pops and kind of keep track each year. As you can see it's it's not there yet however it's going to be uh, fairly soon because I've seen some of the other ones that are way more along than this one. This one is just in the apiary easy to access. So another week or 10 days this one's going to be good to go. So let's take a look at uh, one of my honeysuckle bushes right next to my apiary too. All right, so here is one of my honeysuckle bushes right here next to the apiary. As you can see, that's ready to pop probably tomorrow or the next day. Actually, I've, I see an open flower up here. So yeah, yeah, this is going to be on really soon. Um, so while I was walking down here and recording this, take a look at this, wild berry. Well, they're getting ready to come out too. I didn't actually pay attention to these, but that's kind of nice to see. So, this is a good day to get in a couple of hives and take a look and see if the flow is going on. All right, so let's get in one and see what we can find. So, I'm kind of a person, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That is the reason I'm not changing this queen. I'm not replacing her, because I had people ask me, why aren't you replacing her? She's three years old. Why, if she's doing fine? I don't see the reason. I'll definitely do some splits this year. Try to keep her genetics. I'm just giving them a little bit of smoke to get in here. Hopefully they're calm. And we can work with this. Yeah, so basically what I'm looking for today is if the queen is up here and laying up in this box. If I lift the box, it does have some weight. But I can just see the bees are just on this half the hive. So we're just going to start right there. Yeah, if there's no bees on this side, queen is most likely not there. I mean, you never know, but you know, you learn things every day as a beekeeper. Yeah, just a little bit of nectar up here. So we'll just move to some more frames where the real action is. Oh, maybe I moved the smoke too. Oh, absolutely. Now this is full of nectar, so. Smells so good, so is this frame. I was suspecting the nectar is here, but I wasn't sure 100%. I do see a few things blooming, but you know, Oh, yep, queen was up here because this frame is laid up. This is all new larvae. So she was up here. Maybe she's still up here. Let's take a look and see if we can find her. Same thing on this side. She's definitely laid this up. So this is what I'm looking for basically. What I'm doing, going through here, looking for a queen. Um, and if she laid eggs up top, if she did, if she laid this whole top, what I would have done is probably moved her down to the bottom and put a queen excluder and leave this for the bees to actually fill it up with honey. However, yeah, this is also full of eggs just laid up. So she's up here somewhere and that's a couple of frames. Uh, what I would look for is for more frames to be laid laid before I actually moved her down. Let's see if we can find her on this frame. She could have also been up here and just left, went down back down there. Wow. 
I actually laid up at least three frames because this one is full of eggs and stuff. This side is nectar though. So we do have some nectar coming in. That's beautiful. Like I said, that should change really soon. Keep saying that, but things keep hanging back. Um, even though we have a lot of things blooming, uh, the weather wasn't really cooperating. It was a lot of rain, so can't really count a nectar if there is a lot of rain because bees can't go out. So this is full of nectar. Like full, entire frame. And they're starting to fill this up. That smells so good. Alright, so I don't think the queen is up here. Like I said, I could have missed her, but I will not put a queen excluder on here yet. What I will do is I'll take a look at the bottom too. We'll take a look at the bottom box. Let's jump down there. Yeah, that box has a little bit of weight, but not, nothing too crazy. Alright, we're going to move them out of the way and go through some of these frames. Anyway, what do you guys think? Should I replace the queen after three years or keep her? I'm looking to keep her to see how long she can go. So let's look, take a look at her laying and stuff like that. This is just some cat brood and back filled with nectar. Probably after the bees hatched out. Not much else. Alright, let me know down in the comments how was the oldest queen you got? Or are you replacing them every year? Or every couple of years? I'm actually curious to know what people do. This is all brood just hatching. And I don't see any new eggs or anything like that. So we'll keep going. Yeah, see it's hard to tell because the brood pattern is spotty. However, this is back filled with nectar and pollen. So, eh, who knows. I'll probably have a good idea on the top frames because there was nothing up there. She went up and laid up a frame. Um, once they cap it, I'll have a good idea if, if it's like a bad brood pattern or not. If she's done, basically. Yeah, so this is almost impossible to, oops, almost impossible to tell here because this is back filling, they're back filling this with nectar basically. Alright, let's take a look at this side. I'm not really looking for any details today, I know Queen is in here and she's laying, I'm just trying to determine how much longer I'm going to keep her basically. See if she's still doing a good job or not. And also look for a nectar flow. It's definitely here, believe me, some of these, a lot of these frames, not some, have, and there is my queen. She's right down here, that's a beautiful big queen. And she's doing a good job to me. I just feel bad replacing her. Probably will uh, wait a minute until I see the top. And if that's laid up and good, I might keep her. But looking at this brood pattern, it's a bit spotty. But then she's three years old, what can you expect? There's a, definitely a lot of bees in the hive. She overwintered a couple of years, so... I can't complain too much. She did her job. Yeah, not much here. Just lots of pollen. All right, let me take a couple, take a look at these other frames. Really, I'm more looking for nectar. Yeah, there is definitely nectar in quite a few frames. So, as we've seen, I think that's enough. I've seen enough of this hive. She's in here. There is no swarm cells or anything like that. That's what I'm worried about. 
so I'll just go ahead and close it right up all right guys so let me know what you think should I replace the queen or not should I just let it be for this season three years see what happens um, I know brood on the bottom looks a little spotty but it's also back filled with nectar and pollen there was a lot of pollen and looks like a lot of nectar is coming in too so maybe I'll wait for the top uh, top few frames that were laid up to be kept and see how the brood pattern if it's nice I'll probably gonna keep her if it's bad I'll pro I might replace her I don't know I might do a split with her we'll see what happens but I will definitely keep you updated that is my favorite queen in there my favorite hive so give me some comments let me know what you think what's your oldest queen and how long have you kept a queen before have you ever had like a four or five year old queen I'm really curious about that I actually never looked into that too much because I know people just replace queens quite often Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video and share it if you want. So I'll see you in the next video.